Okay, so I was going to do this video about how I think you all should watch this show called Community, and I still do think that, because it's a great show, but I figured out something that I think I need to share with you guys. So, watch this. I have the Logitech A quadruple zero eight headset. I've got this stats up right here. It's a USB headset. It uses its own sound drivers, so it's not grabbing the same thing as the sound card. This has caused me problems because my Xbox is running into the line in for my sound card, which is, I believe, a real tech on board for my computer. So, and I can prove it, turn up my speakers a bit. Right now I've got the Xbox running through the line in. I turn on the sound, you can hear this. The problem being, you plug in the USB headset, and because the sound card is handling all of this on board, you're still getting sound through the speakers, regardless of what your USB is plugged in. So all of your computer sounds are coming through the headset, but the Xbox sounds are still coming out of your speakers, still disturbing your friends who are sitting in the rest of the living room trying to watch TV. Now, I tried everything. I tried Winamp plugins that streamed the line in, which was good, but laggy a little. Um, and thus, not any good for Rock Band, for instance. I tried different sound settings, all sorts of things, and what is stupid about this is just how simple it is to fix. So, I've got my sounds open here. To get to this, start, control panel, and sound, just click right here where it says sound. Click that, this thing opens. It'll probably be on the playback tab. Go over to the recording tab. You go down to your line in. Now, we take our lovely USB for our headset, plug it in. Important side note, most of these settings will stay even after you remove your headset. You remove it, you plug it back in, your settings are already set up for you. It's just setting up the first time and getting it to work that's a pain in the butt. It would help if I were ambidextrous. There goes my TARDIS. USB is activated. Now all the sounds from my computer are coming through the headset. No tone. It's all coming out of the headset. Now, we go over here to the sound window, recording tab, line in, properties. Go to the listen tab in the properties window. And right here, listen to this device. Apply, OK. Now, I'm not sure if it's picking up or not, but the game is now streaming through my headset, which is what I'm holding in my hand right next to the camera. Now, I also found that with this headset, the bass sounded like crap, so I had to go in on playback, speakers, open up the properties, go to your enhancements, and I had to turn on bass boost, but I had to turn it on to only three decibels, the minimum possible boost. Otherwise it doesn't know what to do with the bass and the bass just sounds awful. Now the reason, part of the reason, that I'm, part of the reason I have Rock Band running is because I want to play Rock Band. But the other part of the reason is that I actually went ahead and ran the calibration already. I'm going to set you up here. And I'm going to show you exactly what my lag ends up looking like. Rock Band is great because it has this nice option for calibrating your lag. And with the new guitars, you can calibrate it automatically. This is what I calibrated earlier, using an automatic guitar, which is the Gretsch from Beatles Rock Band. And only 42 milliseconds on video. There you have it. Virtually no lag on the Xbox running on line in 
through a computer sound card. And outputting to my headset. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some rocking to do. <laughs> 